Hello everyone, my name is Pallavi Pengonda and I am from uh, Men's Mark to Market team. Today we will uh, be discussing uh, Tata Motors shares and uh, uh, which has two types of shares and one with lower voting rights. We have with us uh, Mobis Philippos who will explain the trend that he is seeing in both the stocks. So Mobis tell us what are the trends that you are picking up uh, in right. the shares. So uh, Tata Motors uh, issued these shares with uh, lower voting rights so called uh, differential voting rights or DVRs as we know them, they have uh, one vote for every 10 shares an investor holds whereas the ordinary shares have one vote for every one share held. Uh, and the price discovery of these DVR instruments has been a bit uh, wonky especially when it started trading. Uh, so in fact initially they even traded a premium to the ordinary shares which was odd because uh, they did not give more benefits, they gave lesser in terms of voting rights. But then eventually uh, they traded at uh, big discounts. Uh, three years ago or so, uh, the discount came to about 25%. Uh, uh, but since then, uh, the discounts have risen and they now stand at a, at a record of about 55%. Put differently, investors are willing to pay a premium of about 120% uh, to own the shares which have the normal voting rights. So Mobis, what does uh, this signify for uh, to the investors? Yeah, so uh, researchers say that normally when uh, the, uh, there's a big difference between the price of uh, voting shares as opposed to non-voting shares, that difference uh, denotes the value that investors attach uh, to having control of the company or uh, uh, because essentially what you're paying for is the voting rights. And uh, normally uh, management certainly will assign a great value to control because they can re derive value from that. Uh, but for individual investors or outside investors, the only value that they can derive by uh, having control is if someone else is willing to pay them for that control. Uh, that typically happens in a takeover situation. Yes. And interestingly, you have uh, quoted Haim Levy of the Hebrew University and I quote, an individual investor would have motive to hold the stock with superior voting rights if he or she expected that a future uh, struggle for control will yield significant capital gains. Yeah, that's true. I mean, in fact, uh, if control uh, wasn't what the investor was after, then he could have well bought double the number of shares for the same amount of uh, capital invested by just buying uh, the DVRs. But is uh, a takeover a real possibility, Mobis? Yeah, we can't really say for sure and, and certainly this, is, this would be speculative. But uh, uh, what is happening interestingly at the same time is that Tata Motors valuation has come down a lot in the past three years. Uh, in fact, now to buy a controlling stake of let's say 51%, it costs less than two and a half billion dollars. And three years ago, that was as high as uh, 13 billion dollars. Sure, sure. Uh, you've also said in your story that poor performance increases expectations uh, of uh, takeover and hence increases value uh, investors pay for voting rights. So that's that's true. I mean, the idea is that uh, if there is a change in management, then they can quickly get onto the low hanging fruit and derive value for investors. So in cases where performance is poor is where investors are betting that, you know, change in management is likely and uh, they can derive greater value uh, by, uh, you know, seeing a takeover happen in the near future. Thank you, Mobis. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all for today on Mint's uh, Mark to Market show. Do read the full story on uh, the website under the Mark to Market section. Thank you.